you don't be tying my shoes. Yeah, I can help you. We have to get to class. That's up. But if for me. You are tardy. Hey, your shoes on time. Hey, Bo, I'm Kona. And I'm Nikhil. We've got some great news for you today, Bo. But first, let's roll the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today during seminar, World Renaissance is meeting in A108. After school, robotics is meeting from 69 in the South LGI. Young Democrats will be at meeting will be 3 to 3.30. The college ambassadors meets bi-weekly from 3 to 4 in the South Library. Email Mr. Doyle with questions. There is no Lego Club tomorrow. Wall Access meets today in the North Library. Robotics is in the South Building LGI. Taylor Swift Club meets every other week in A231. An open lift for all students is happening this week after school. To see this week's schedule, go to bit.ly slash pantherstrength. Juniors, it's time to start getting hyped for next year's athletics, and that starts with the black hole. A form will be sent out to the current juniors on April 24th where you can nominate who you want to lead the black hole next year. Nominations will close April 28th. Go well. The Holland Police Academy is running a, summer, a free summer academy for sophomores and seniors. Interested in pursuing a job in law enforcement? For more information, please see your counselor. Seniors, the senior celebration jungle will be here before you know it. Lots about that epic night remains a secret, but we're revealing something about it to you this week in our shows and on our social media. Let's play Picture Puzzle. Take a look, and if you haven't registered yet for Jungle, be sure to do that ASAP. Register by April 30th to be entered in another $100 Visa gift card drawing. I challenge you as a two-week summer program through the, West, through the West Ottawa Area ISD. You will work with other students to come up with real solutions for a local business. You have the opportunity to win scholarship money, and I Challenge You is a great for any resume or job application. You will work on skills like team building, communication, flexibility, presentation, and innovation. The program runs from June 19th to June 29th. Many of our own West Ottawa High School teachers have participated in this program. If you have any questions about the program, you can reach out to Mrs. Rene, Mr. Taylor, Mrs. Manigan, or Mrs. Meyer. Student Senate is hosting a blood drive on May 10. 16-year-olds must have a consent form located in either office written in pen. All attempting donors have a chance to win $1,000 in gift cards to a water park resort. We made a We Are Well. Let's roll it.
One more methyl group and bam, caffeine. Oh, hi, I'm Mr. Townsend and I teach chemistry. Next year, we'll have AP Chemistry and IB Chemistry. AP stands for Advanced Placement, and IB stands for International Baccalaureate. The key difference with IB Chemistry is it's the same chemistry class that many schools in different countries all around the world take. It's a little bit of a different approach to teaching science. The current AP and IB Chemistry teacher is the great Mr. Kelly DeWitt who is retiring after 30 illustrious years of science teaching career. Anybody who plans on doing anything after high school in a science or medical field should definitely take AP and or IB chemistry. You're gonna to have to take those classes anyway when you get to college. AP chemistry is not easy. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but it's not as difficult as people make it sound like. AP chemistry sometimes gets a bad reputation as being extremely difficult, but I would say it's not the most difficult AP class that we have at West Ottawa. You will work hard, but like I said, you're gonna be doing this in college anyway, and I'll be there to help and support you. Besides being certified to teach chemistry, generally you go to some kind of conference for a, a training to teach an IB class. An advantage of teach, of me teaching AP and IB chemistry is that you know I'll bring the towns of magic to the class. If you're thinking about taking AP or IB chemistry, you should definitely do it. You won't regret it. You'll be glad you did. I guarantee it. Talk to your counselors. Applications for Student Senate are open now. Join this incredible group and help with incredible events like Homecoming, Senior Survivor, and more. Check your email for the link to, link to the application and teacher recommendation form. Both forms must be turned in by April, Friday, April 28th. Contact Mr. Clausen with any questions. West Ottawa Middle Schools presents the musical Oliver Jr. on May 5th, 6th, and 7th. You can get your tickets online at westalladramaboosters.org. Tickets are at 8 and $10. Oliver Jr.'s is an adaptation of the timeless musical based on Charles Dickens' novel, Oliver Twist. The junior class cordially invites all juniors and seniors to an evening in the Enchanted Forest prom on Saturday, April 29th from 8 to 11 p.m. at the Holland Civic Center. It promises to be a magical event with lots to do. Tickets are $35 and go on sale Monday, April 17th during both lunches in both buildings outside the cafeterias. Guests passes will be available starting Monday, April 24th through Thursday, April 27th. All guest passes must be returned by Friday, April 28th. Both boys and girls track team have a meet at home today. The girls soccer is playing at Mona Shores. Boys volleyball is playing at away at East Kentwood. Varsity softball is away at Wyoming and freshman baseball is at Granville. Girls JV tennis is away at Hudsonville. We made a we are well. Let's roll it. I'm Mr. Schwalier, and why do I teach? Um, by the time I got into 11th grade, um, I found that often in class I'd find myself quit doing uh, the work needed in a class, and then uh, usually during the last parts of uh, lessons, I would just be working with classmates, kind of helping and tutoring, and I always kind of found that those last few minutes were my favorite when I was helping people. Uh, also, when I played tennis in high school, I played at a, um, at a pretty small uh, school school and a similar thing would happen where there was me and like one or two other kids that were uh, pretty good and for the first half of practice we would usually hit amongst each other and then often in the second half of practice uh, the coach and I and those couple others we would help the youngsters on the team and the others and we were doing that back when we were when I was a high school player so by the time I was in 12th grade I kind of uh, noticed that my favorite times on the tennis court were when I was helping instruct my teammates, not when I was playing. And same thing with the, the math and social studies and everything. I found myself happiness, happiest when I was working with them. So by the time I was a senior, I kind of knew I wanted to teach. 
anytime I can find an area where I'm super weak at, for me personally, that's like the most exciting thing. Like, cause I mean, you just think about the things that you wanna like, that you care about in life. You wanna do as well as you can at them. So like, I wanna be a great math, math teacher and I wanna be a great tennis coach. So um, the best thing for me is anytime I can learn through someone showing me or letting me know that there's like a big error in some way that I'm doing my job because the moment that I find that, it's like, whoa, I take care of this thing and all of a sudden I can level up big. And so, you know, after you've been teaching and coaching for a long time, uh, the, the, you, that's where your level ups happen. They come every, every time you realize that there's something that you could have been doing so much better. So uh, it's really the only way for me to now keep growing and improving is, is to find those areas. And I think that that trans totally to uh, every student that you're working with like let's say you've got a uh, an athlete who's 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 playing uh, tennis for me well anytime we can figure out a uh, you know here's a thing you're doing but if we kind of reimagine it and do it this way here's this awesome outcome you can get well that's like the biggest win we could ever have out on court and practice together because then all of a sudden we've just found a way to level up and the players you know they so badly want to level up so it's uh super exciting anytime we can find a an area where we're weakened because then we can grow at it and of course you could you could do the same thing for some of those things i wasn't doing as well uh however when i was in seventh or eighth grade i uh there was a day when we were just hanging out and I was with, you know, some of the like most athletic people in the, uh, in the middle school and we were all on a tennis court just goofing around. And I noticed that uh, I could completely keep up with them at that sport. I mean, there was a net in between us, so there was that barrier and my size didn't make much of a difference. And so, you know, when you're, when you're a young person, you want to, at any age, you want to have success at the thing you're doing. And um, at that age, I found a sport where you know, really to get good at it, the biggest thing is just how much work you're willing to put in and, and how much you're willing to practice. And that is so much more important in tennis than things like height or strength or natural athleticism. Obviously, it's important to be those things too, uh, but, but there's such an emphasis on just how many hours you're willing to put in. So I found that on the basketball team, you know, I'm not I'm not six foot tall <laughs> in middle school. I'm not going to be able to play certain positions, but I could do anything on a tennis court. And so I just think that that early success made me want to do it more. And then the, the more and more you get into something and have more success, you know, it's easy to fall in love with something. And that's what happened for me. Thanks for tuning in, West Ottawa. Have a great day, Will. Bye. Bye. asking people what they're looking forward to this summer. Yeah, okay, my name is Patty and I'm looking forward to spending time with my friends. Hi, my name is Mrs. Lyro and I'm looking forward to drinking coffee. My name is Lucas and I'm looking forward to fishing this summer. I'm Noah Wooden and I'm looking forward to catching big old bass this summer.